Welcome back to the physics class. Today we shall see the image formation by a convex mirror. In case of a convex mirror, the image is formed in such a way that we have to extend it in the backward direction. Here in the diagram you can see the object AB is placed at infinity. So the light rays are coming all parallel to each other as well as parallel to the principal axis. CP is the principal axis which is extended. So the light rays shown by the blue lines with arrow heads are coming from the object AB and falling on the mirror denoted by MN. When the light ray falls on the mirror, it gets diverged. Diverged because it is moving away. So you can see the blue line moving away on the top and on the bottom side. These two light rays will never meet at a point because they are diverging in nature. Thus, in convex mirror, we have to extend them in the backward direction. This is shown by the dotted line which is drawn on the right side of the mirror which meets at focus. This doesn't actually meet at focus but we have extended it to meet at focus. Because it is an imaginary line, therefore we have drawn it with dotted line and we do not put any arrow over it. We say that these light rays appear to be coming from the point F. See, the important part of the statement here is that the light rays after reflection appears to be coming from the point F. Thus, the image is formed at point F. Now, when you look at the nature of the image, you see that this image is formed behind the mirror and thus it cannot be taken on the screen. A screen may be a simple sheet of paper. You cannot place the sheet behind the mirror and see the image. That is not possible. Thus, we say that the image formed here is virtual and erect. How about the size of the image? The size of the image is diminished. The object is a big object AB and the image formed is a point image at F. Thus, the light rays coming from infinity forms an image at F which is diminished, virtual and erect. The second case of convex mirror is when we place the object in front of the convex mirror anywhere in front of it. So, we have placed AB as shown in the diagram. The light ray from A which is parallel to principal axis falls on the mirror and gets reflected. The reflected light is shown by the blue line with arrowhead which is going away. We have to extend this light ray in the backward direction which you see passes through the point F. F is the principal focus of the convex mirror. The second ray we shall be drawing that passes through the center of curvature. The light passing along the center of curvature retraces its path. That is the rule. So, placing the scale A and C, we draw the line. But you note here, the light ray that is drawn from A to the mirror is a solid line which is having an arrow. It is going back which is again shown by drawing arrow in the opposite direction. Whereas the same light ray when it is drawn behind the mirror is a dotted line. The reason is the same. This dotted line is an imaginary extension of the ray. No ray actually moves in the backward direction. Hence we draw it by dotted line. Why we need to draw the dotted line? Because we want to see where the light rays will meet or will appear to meet so as to locate the position of the image. The two reflected rays of light will not meet anywhere on the left hand side because it is diverging. They are moving away from each other. Whereas when we look at the right hand side of the mirror, they meet at point A dash. So, A dash is the position of the image. 
a dash b dash is the image formed in case of the convex mirror when we have placed the object a b at any point in front of the mirror. Now let us look at the size of the image. This image formed is smaller in size when we compare it with the object like I will take the same example. If I have kept a pencil of height 5 centimeters as a b then the image formed in the convex mirror will be something smaller than 5 centimeter. We say that this image formed is diminished. How about the nature of the image? It is erect. If the pencil is kept straight upright, image is also formed straight upright. So we say it is erect. We cannot take this image on the screen. Thus, the image is virtual. So, we say that the image formed in case of convex mirror is virtual, erect and diminished. There are only these two cases for convex mirror. Let us revise it once. When the object is placed at infinity, the image is formed at focus. It is a point size image and virtual and erect in nature. When you place the object in front of the mirror anywhere at some distance apart, then the image is formed between P and F which lies behind the mirror. The image size here is highly diminished and it is virtual and erect. So, these are the two cases for the image formation by convex mirror. I do practice it by drawing on the paper. Happy learning. See you in some other video. Till then, goodbye.